Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here to start a new campaign in Hearts of Iron 4 Vanilla which we're playing as a Kingdom of Hungary using the Gotta Down the Room DLC now. This looks a little different, doesn't it? Um, I shattered every single nation, including Germany, to make sure that we had enough time to do whatever we wanted as Hungary. Shattered France a little bit, the UK. Good old America shattered, but not really, but they are, but not really. Um, the, uh, the United Native American States. Kind of wild, not gonna lie. Republican People's Council. Canada shattered, um, a lot of different nations went up. First, ooh, First Nations Council, Monroe Doctrine. U United Intuit States. It's also very cool. Uh, that being said, I got Quebec, we got most of Canada, Mexico split up too. So I split up pretty much every single nation that could be split up. So Mapuche State, well, I guess these guys aren't split up. Technically, it's Chile and all them, but whatever. Africa split up, and uh, well, truth be told, this game is probably going to be quite laggy because I released everything. Oh, Congo Leopold has the, the Congo tree. State of Katanga has nothing. Interesting. Of course, Madagascar's there, India's there. Uh, not really related too much in Asia, uh, Korea, Qing China, but Russia has been completely shattered, which is kind of wild, and I kind of like it. I did, like I said, Russian Soviet Socialist Republic. Yeah. Why would you look at that? There's Karelia. Yeah, but I wanted to see what would it be like. So we're going to run with this. Um, we're going to go with a historical, well, not historical. We're going to go with the Reform the Austro-Hungarian Empire route for this campaign. You can probably hopefully tell by the video thumbnail or title. Also, Italy has gone too. It's pretty much the same. So it gives everyone else a f more fair chance to actually survive. So we're going to begin with end the regency. Marthy has a good run as a regent, but it's finally time to once again look for King William to take the Hungarian throne. Whether it be Habsburg or someone more in comp compliance with the wishes of the little on top, we need a new monarch. Crackdown on radicals. I like that. The Guineas united. I like that. Subvert Gambus Gumbus's troops. Uh... Yeah. Look at this one. The fascist and extremist Prime Minister Guglielo Gumbus is in charge of multiple paramilitary militias. The biggest being the Hungarian National Defense Association. We must make sure to limit these groups before they can pose a threat to a new kingdom. And crack down on radicals. There are many militias and political organizations in the country that are opposed to the restoration of the monarchy. We must make sure to limit their influence and disband any paramilitary groups lest they prove an issue for us on later. Cool. So, Miklos Horthy's anti communist, origin of Hungary. We're getting our political power quite a bit. Uh, fascist sympathies. Uh, Gumbos Trade Treaty, the treaty Gulu Gumbos Sound with Germany 34 is important for stimulating our economy and aiding in recovery from the Great Depression, but also has great drawbacks. Though the agreement gives us a favorable piece or price for sales of wheat, the money earned has remained in an account in Germany has to be used only to purchase German industrial goods. This keeps up Germany to be able to achieve economic domination of our country. Hungarian National Defense Association, the far right largely paramilitary organization, MU, which was formed in 1919, has a large loyal to its leader and founding figure, Gulia uh, Gumbus. Despite this, they also hold a large respect for Miklos Horthy due to a strong anti communist stance. But we got rid of that. Levent uh, Associations, people form paramilitary youth organizations known as the Levent or Leventa. Uh, they, under the guise of physical, mental, or health training, prepare Hungarian youth, both within and without our borders, for combat and the eventual conquest of our rifle lands. Uh huh. Our call has got active service. Okay. Well, we don't, can't really do much else. I guess we can improve working conditions for more political power. Or more stability, really. Reach out to the candidates. We must establish a committee tasked with finding potential candidates for the throne. The most obvious candidates are Otto, the current heir of the Habsburg realm, and Joseph August, our most recent king, also Habsburg. The little Antonio has forbid us from having a king of Habsburg descent, so we might look for other possibilities. I'm going to choose that next, anyways. It's not running too slowly, they didn't release. Oh, the Japanese are going communist. Oh, we're also going historical, you can tell. Reinstate the Pragmatic Sanction of 1713. The Pragmatic Sanction of 1713 was issued by the Holy Roman Emperor, Charles VI, to ensure that the Habsburg monarchy could be inherited by a daughter undivided, as such she deemed their nation as Habsburg land for the future to come. After Charles IV's unsuccessful coup d'etat uh, attempt, this was revoked, in order to restore such rule, we must attempt to reinstate it against the will of the little entente. Get that. Stability up, 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 up. Wow, this is really bad. The South Cross Martin in the Budapest. Our troops have intercepted the radical national socialist politician Zoltan Bozoromini and his followers marched on Budapest in a coup attempt heavily influenced by Mussolini's march on Rome. This French political activist, referring himself as a John among John of intellect and great Hungarian poet with a prophetic mission, has gathered his group of disgruntled Hungarian followers under the banner of the South Cross and moving towards the capital. How should we handle this? Burst him and arrest him? Open fire and scare him off. A legitimist. 
And we could go with the old Hasper King, which would be cool. It's a lot more political power, too. But I'm going to go with invite Otto to the throne. Long have the old Habsburg ruled Hungary, and under the rules of the country, part of the, one of Europe's greatest empires. Returning Habsburg to the helm, who has the intent to restore Austria Hungary, will surely lead to greatness once more. Being the legitimate heir to the ent entire empire, he would be a key to the restoration of Austria Hungary. Um, demand Austrian restoration. We need a bigger military, high opinion. Military is weaker than us, more war sport. Uh, so maybe we should focus on this too. Improve relations. Maybe she makes a couple divisions too, because I completely forgot about this. Hmm. This guy's a good for garrisons. Uh, let me check on the candidates. Crack down on extremism. Let's give him some more political power for now. Treaty of Trianon. Terrible stuff, my friends. Terrible, terrible, terrible stuff. Oh! Look at that. Now, the Treaty of Trianon is in many ways similar to the Treaty of Versailles. It's crippling our military and preventing rearmament. Seeking it altered or abolished must be a premier goal. We can do this by seeking a rapprochement with a little on top, proposing the blood agreement, or by renouncing it altogether. The last option will be widely considered as very aggressive and may provoke a strong response. Say, like a slot. Which is good. And declare war on a free India. Very good, very good. Kill themselves, yes. Because I just want to go straight through here as fast as we can. Getting rid of this would be good as well. Let's get arms loyalty. Uh, Royal Hussars. That'd be kind of cool. Get more cavalry attack and defense. But I want to go through this quickly. The lands of uh, Crown of St. Stephen. As part of the austro Hungarian Empire, we're known as the lands of the Crown of St. Stephen, or surely, Translatania. As a first step in reclamation of the Empire, we should endeavor to once again adopt this name. That should show the role what our true intent is. That being said, I don't mind going to war. Maybe a little bit early, perhaps, if that's possible. Um, there's not much we can really do. I don't think we can go to war against Romania. They're pretty thick. Serbia, maybe. I do want to go to war we can get more land that we should have under us. Of course, the route we're going... Little Entente requires promises of peace. Little Entente powers not take lightly to Charles the Fourth's attempt at the restoration of the Habsburg monarchy in 221, and I still do not know, allow for such an action to be taken. This time, however, they have not threatened us with war over the matter, but instead demand we make a showing of our peaceful intentions, lest they need to end our monarchy once and for all. Oh, you can't even go down this way because... Oh, they went down that way already, huh. Well, we can still go down this way. The Lord Habsburg King. Well, maybe we won't go down that way. Get on this way. A declaration of intentions. On a high horse. What is this? Apostolic Kingdom. Can create factions. Can join factions. Or go against them. Bulk against communism. Hmm. We can promise non aggression for now. Czechoslovakia, Romania, and Serbia. I don't think we can survive that. Could we? Huh. I do want to get down here, though. Because this actually that seems okay. It doesn't seem great. There's not very much here. The left side is a lot more stuff you can do. The right side is boring. At least to me, it seems boring. We're going to force us to do so. Well, let me double check and make sure we can actually invite Otto to the throne. Well, everyone, we are demanding Austrian restoration now. We have Otto on the throne. Austria, Austria, or was it as it was known then, Cisleitania, was an integral part of the Federal Empire. It is now more important to, than ever to once again ensure Habsburg rule the nation and reunite our kingdoms under one federation. As I say, Finland killed itself. Okay. Republic of Austria, they have a relatively high opinion of us. Not too proud, but relatively high. Spain is in a civil war. Pretty normal. I think the Nationals are probably going to lose this one. I uh, fashion to coup d'etat Mapuche Empire. Alright. And then what? See so what happens. The Habsburg Alliance. Hmm. Protect Czechoslovakia. Most likely split if both tension is high, not in faction. High opinion of us and have a non aggression pact with us. The military is weaker, so which is definitely not. We're, we don't have a very strong military. Uh, we'll probably do this one, though. Cubs are political power. Hurts our consumer goods, though. Now it's consumer uh, construction speed. If we are ever going to gain our former glory, we cannot rely on foreign powers and prove and ruin our economy. It's only by our hands alone that we must, our country must flourish once again. Oh, they accept. The wise leadership in the Republic of Austria has decided to crown a Habsburg monarch in accordance with their demands and step down in place of their new king. A new dawn will rise under the federation. They made the right choice. 
Oh, look at that. Hey, we're on board, guys. Here you. Romania is guaranteed the intervention of Slovakia. Ah, guaranteed by France. Actually, how's France doing? They're split. I'm surprised this is as much as France can actually split like this. They have unique. Yeah, they do. Tell they have unique folks. I'm not sure what they're doing. Lusitania, of course. Why didn't they split even more? It seems like they could probably split France even harder, though. Oh, so he's controlled Bergen then. In order to the Empire and bring it back to former glory, we must improve and expand the Federation further. Okay. Do we have a core on this? We do. Sorry, Austria. But you're a puppet and we would need to be bigger and stronger than you. Military parade. I think we'll be okay. Oh. They're now on the line. It's nice. Oh. Okay. And which way are they going? They were going to repeal the main constitution, hold elections. Huh. Seek so support from guarantors. Is it British revisits, colonial policy? England revisits, okay. That makes sense. Uh, I did grab some political power here. Uh, so, attempt, so we'll do that. And we'll get to do the secret army armament as well. Secret army loyalty. It's not bad. Royal Hussars? That's cool. Uh, the Germans don't exist. It's really a grand alliance. England is maybe going communist, I'm not sure. Ooh, Spain's civil war ended as faction leader. Huh. Restore Habsburg rule. That'd be kind of cool. Um, but we're going to go with the secret rearmament next, probably. Restrictions opposed on us by the Treaty of Trianon prohibit us from increasing the size of our army. Even so, the world's political climate is becoming more and more turbulent, and conflict looms over the horizon. We can remain defenseless. And we must begin rearmament, even if that means secretly breaking the stipulations of the peace treaty imposed on us out of the Great War. Which is fine. These guys aren't great. They're only 12 combat width. But they'll be okay. They're not great, like I said. Ban democratic parties. Hurts our stability pretty badly. Anti democratic raids. Anti fascist raids. Get more weekly stability. I suppose why not? We'll try it. It's probably not a great idea, but that's alright. It's whatever. Yeah. Not a lot we can do. Financial expert. Ooh. Uh huh. Just how world this time goes way down, which is probably pretty good to get. Moderate lawyer, captain of industry. It's not bad. Civilian infrastructure, railway, refineries, popular liberal. Huh. How does this look now? National Spain is not having a good time. Not bad. Hmm. Do the financial expert. Build more for us, please. Good. Seven. More construction speed. Armament, very nice. Hold war games. Army speaking goes up, which is nice. Sailing the Danube. Uh, we could. Uh, we could do that one stuff as well. We're mm. to get the railroads. Hold war games by engaging in small, small scale war games. We can discover flaws in current military structure and use experience gained to adjust deficiencies. Serbia. We need more world tension. Oh, I hate that stupid wall. I'll just use consequence if we have to. What is this? All medium planes. No. That's fine. Yeah, we. Uh, I, want, I like armor on my planes. We have no armor XP, anyways, for that. So it's best to wait. Let's see. Oil? Synthetic oil refineries. Supply trucks, railing trains, production costs, steel, industrial research speed, electronics. Do we need more steel? Yeah, we can use more steel right now. You know what? We'll, we'll go that for, for now. 
undercover air maneuvers. We must spread ample resources on working on new theories regarding air warfare. If we go to war, the theories that may be developed will be invaluable, and the undercover training will make our pilots better in battle. Shang-Chi is gone. That's fine. So I, do, I just want to go to war, but we need more divisions, we need more full attention. China's doing okay. Undercover. Ah, res negotiate the restrictions. Small scale security armament will not suffice. We must reach out to our neighbors and request or address other treaty imposed on us after the Great War. Hungary is equal right to armament. Free armament. Initiate army maneuvers. This is the one we want to do. The Royal Hungarian Ludovica Defense Academies are officer cadets training institution. Should we expand so our Jones can all be better educated? That'd be smart. Avoid interventionist destabilization. Economic intervention. Interventionism. We must make the best of the resources at our disposal. Well planned, balanced budget, secure government success versus this one. Economic intervention. We must direct ample resources, political resources, to a direct our economy. Though it is adequate, we can make it stronger and more efficient. Raids. Good. Aircraft construction. Ah, oh, look at that. This guy's popped up. Air combat training. Maximum command power increase. Well, military theorist. Air doctrine theorist. Man, not really much air, but that we really care about. Export focus. Retrade. Maybe build a little faster. Perhaps. It's only 4% world tension. I might make people just go to kill kill each other and go to war with each other. I might just do that off screen, just for funsies. Especially like in Africa, let people kill each other. That's a good time. We got that going on. Sail on the Danube. I guess we could. The Great Danube River is well in the lifeblood of our nation, and we've long been and had a trial proud tradition of traveling down it. Be for transporting goods, removing our armies. We should invest in such our river navy. Sure that our shipping on the river can continue to operate as smoothly as possible. That would be bad. Hussars. Ascension. Restore Vetus Rule. Hmm. No, we're gonna sell a Danube, I guess. Then what? I, I would wanna do all this, but. We're gonna have to rearm and wait. How do I get through this? Yeah, it's fine so far. Any form of the Treaty of Trianon. It reintegrated the Imperial Railroads. The railway network expanding the old Austrian Hungarian Empire have become fragmented since the dissolution in independent nations. We should approach other former constituent states and propose the reintegration of our railway networks to improve the infrastructure overall. And Habsburg Alliance. There's no one you can trust more, any more than your own kin, and we have learned throughout history that everyone's against the great Habsburg family. Thus, we should keep our alliance within our family, form a faction consisting of only Habsburg ruled states. The Blood Agreement. We've managed to secure Romanian support for partial revision of the Treaty of Trina. All restrictions on the military have been removed. The International Arms Inspectors have left the country, and the War Ministry has drawn up its initial plans for a modest expansion of our armed forces. Great. Czechoslovakia public issues new to protest. Oh, also I made a bunch of African states kill each other. The Czechoslovakian ambassadors transmitted the following note. The government of the Czechoslovak Republic is watching the recent developments on the Transylvanian Kingdom with grave concern. The Treaty of Trianon has long been a guarantee for peace and stability in the region. While the Czechoslovakian government accepts, in principle, that nations should be permitted to choose their own destiny, we must urge the government of the trans lactanian Kingdom in the strongest possible terms to abide by the treaty. The consequences of destabilizing the region any further could very quickly become uncontrollable. Good for them. But yeah, we're here and we're going to be doing whatever we can. Uh-huh. And... So, we got all that. Oh, invest in the Ludovica Academy. So... That was nice. We'll do that one immediately next. Like I said, uh, huh, South Africa's looking nice and thick. Because Mozambique might help with the lag tier too. Might want to do the same thing with Asia, but we'll see. China's looking okay. We're just trying to slowly grow our military, man. Oi! Oh, I should have had a bunch of Central Asian states kill each other too, but whatever. Oh, look at this! Keep the army, huh? Army offense. I'm okay with that. See, on the Dan, it was fine. Could use the research slot as well. It's already 1938, you know. It's 
construction, guns and such. Uh, tanks would be nice. We don't need any of that stuff. Their transport planes would be good too. Light torpedo mounting. That's not immediately necessary. It's not that much arrow speed either. Into war bomber stuff. Ships. We don't need to focus on ships at all. We'll grab that one next. Um, we're doing whatever we can here. I guess someday. Sure, why not? And what do we get here? No. Um, just land option if we have to. Award military promotions. Alright. Magyar Krali Sus Dorseg. More than 84% worse, but wow, doctrinal studies. It's not bad. Expand the Homvedskeg. Rapid army expansion. I like that idea. Quality over quantity. The Turan. Seems okay. It's not the Tod? Todi? Invest in special forces. I'm not sure whether they'll use that one. The Botond. Construct the Arpad line. Oh, look at this. Expand the Arpad line. Transylvania Mountaineers. The Sexler. Zexler command. That's interesting. Initiate army maneuvers. Has an Atsugori program. Huh. I can see the Black Army. That's cool. Huh. Slogan victory. Look at that. Engines are nice to have. Can we actually do anything here? Special modules. Fighters. Uh, uh, One more weight. Destabilization. Oh, it's down here. Oh, God. Radiation investments in expansion of tri trans Latanian arms industry. Yeah. That's not good. Let's see army maneuvers. Uh, light tanks and such. We have literally no tanks. But industry is humming along. It's nice, finally. Osberg Alliance. Let me go with this one. Oh, hello. Oh, well. I would be not about you. You're a, like a puppet. You cannot become a puppet yet. It's a vassal. It was Cameroon. Who is this? Oh. Expand the Guns Muvek. The Guns and Partner Iron Mill and the Machine Factory should be expanded and absorb various smaller industries into its own. In order to better centralize our, our industrial capabilities and better direct funding towards industrial developments in the future. And look, we got more things here. Nice. Um. We need more of this stuff, of course. More planes and such. Also, we are justifying now on the Republic of Croatia. I made... Oh, well. These guys kill each other, too. Well, it is what it is. Um, hey! Angola's looking nice and thick, though. Are they fighting each other? I think they should be fighting each other. Should they not be? Oh, yeah, they are fighting each other. Nice. Gets a little bit more world tension. Pretty machine. Very nice. It is 1939. Um, resources. 38, 39. A little ahead of time there. Some better artillery, shall we? Yes, we shall. And then what? Um, announce security program. Our military is dangerously weak and is impaired that we boost its size and fighting capability. Do this, we must significantly bolster our industry to keep up with the growing demands and equipment. The five year GOI program will increase the government spending not only on the military itself, but also on ancillary sectors such as industry, agriculture, investment, infrastructure, and education. Yes, that'd be great. Exactly what we need. Uh huh. Then what? Coastal military factories expand the Dioscor machinery factory, huh? I don't need more steel. Which is that just how we get military civilian factories? Oh, uh, that seems okay. Army state loyalty. Mm. We do need to have a. Hmm. I want this one definitely. It's probably best to do this one next. Hungarian Academy of Science is the most important and prestigious learned society of Translitania. Its main responsibilities are the cultivation of science, dissemination of scientific findings, supporting research and development, and representing Translitanian science domestically. 
and around the world. Ooh, you know what? Maybe I should have chosen you. Maybe I should have chosen uh, this guy instead. Yeah, honestly, I made a mistake. I'm going to grab you instead. Because I do want to go to Impartial Mob, but we want to just fight faster. That'd be good. Oh, yeah, the French are killing themselves. Nice. That's good. Very nice. Support weapons are good. Uh, good dealer support weapons as well. It's almost 1939. Yeah, it's a program. Awesome. Expand it, because this one's not okay. Invite four investors. It's just alright, but eh. Doctrinal studies. Oh. That's a secure future. So interesting. I wonder how Hungary is able to rearm so quick so quite quite a bit in my four. So how many more days we got here? Oh, actually not too many days, that's good. I wouldn't mind getting down here quickly, too. Let's see. More cities would be nice. This would be good, too. Air research speed. Joint air development. Establish this. Plus resizes. Nothing that gives you daily air or army XP or anything like that. Which is not great. Uh, expand the lig lignite industry. Our lignite coal industry is large, but relatively underdeveloped. We should open up new mines and factories so their natural resources don't go to waste. Uh, war sport's not bad. We could re-enlist the Ukrainian siege riflemen. The Ukrainian siege riflemen fought for us during the Great War and then wanted to fight for a free Ukrainian state during the Russian Civil War. Which, from the military unit, under one of their old and popular commanders, the Habsburg... Oh, look at that. Archduke Wilhelm Franz of Austria, known to them by the name of Vasil... Uh, Vash... The Shanivani. Sure. There we go. There we go. Nice. Could we break over? That's a real question. We do have quite a few planes, though, which is actually pretty nice. Naval stuff. Um, I'm going to go with battleships for this campaign. Does it make sense? No. Establish a program for the expansion of the trans Academy of Sciences. Or the further development and progress of the nation. We must expand our Expanding our National Academy of Science. I'll try that. Okay, so we're going to save. This might go really badly. I'm not sure if we could actually push through, maybe. Almost heritage. Overwhelming firepower. Yeah, it's always good to grab. It's a good war. We concentrate our forces and go like here. And break over. Maybe. Oh, the blood agreement's gone, huh? Oh, does that mean that people can go to war list too? Hmm. No, oh, just in case. Do they have a war goal against us? Oh, they're allied with each other. Okay, interesting. Oh, there we go. Okay. Should be fine then. Another one guy go here. You can break over the river. Oh, look at the French economy. Well, they tried. Oh, now you have a bunch of fascists. Did not see that one going. Very nice. Thank you, Professor Greb. It's a good army XP. I like it. Oh, we're also at war. I want to make sure I grab this as well. What is this? Accelerate terrorism. Emergency factory. Oh, recall. Coast Guard Yankee to active service. Sure, why not? It's fine. Additional land appropriation. No, because there's nothing else for us to really choose here. Um, can you not try to get yourself in circle? That'd be nice. Uh, Kingdom of Avonia. How many minutes have we lost? 8,000 versus 38? That's not bad. Group infantry equipment. Nice. Ooh, also, I forgot. Russian mob, volunteer only. Dubrovnik. And that, I also want to go to war with these guys so we can get access to the sea. Very important for us. Very, very important. 
Good job, guys. Good pop at them, too, but no, we're good. These guys are in our way. Well. We enlist them. Um, This wouldn't be bad. We could do that. Habsburg Poland? Well. Because if we do that, if they say yes, we can have them under us, and they could open up a lot of expansion up here. And when we fight these guys, well, maybe it's best to wait. Get protect Czechoslovakia. How many divisions do they? We assume that they have. Oh, that's a lot of divisions. Boy, boy. Oh, what is this? Eighteen. Oh, that's way better. Armies. We want you all to be normies. Thank you. You're done. There we go. Alright, so what do we got next? Let's get our loyalty. That's a 70 day focus. That's quite a that's quite a few days. Not gonna lie. It's not bad. It's okay. Save you Millie. Yeah, let's go with that. Do we need more steel? No. That's alright. Can we import a thing of this? Because planes are important. They're very, very important, actually. Establish the Lighten Academy of Sciences. They're always nice, good stuff. population here too. Oh. Hmm. What happened here? Alpine Confederation. Wow. Well. Okay. Definitely engineers. Definitely needs some air too. Um it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. We're getting the extra fuel will be really important. Aluminum, civvy stuff. Well, after pulling, I do like that idea quite a bit. Let's reinstate this. Let's go to doctrinal studies. Let's a quick focus. We've learned much from officer exchanges and strategy sessions with our allies, as well as through a military intelligence agency. Combining such desperate points of view has put us on the edge of a doctrinal breakthrough. train a little more. Give me a few more guns and such. It's fine. Nice. It is 1939. Oh, it's a Empire's War too. Look at that. Oh wow, Croatia's got a lot of infrastructure. Look at that. that's kinda cool. Doctrinal studies, very good. Um, we'll probably definitely need to expand this one. Uh, our current standing army, the Hunvend, is way too small to properly stand a chance against our neighbors. We must therefore attempt to increase the size of the army as rapidly as possible. And we will. But we're gonna expand the lignit industry first. Good. Or days must we wait for the Slovenians? Ah! Guaranteed by Czechoslovakia. Interesting. Don't think we're in a good spot to try to fight them. Belgium is destroying the fascist trench. Interesting. Good job. Advanced machine tools. Yeah, let's get it up for now. Excavation, perhaps. It's fine, whatever. Czechoslovakia is guaranteeing them all. Hmm. Not ideal. Destruction three. So, what we're we gonna do? 
is improve our relations with you guys. You're probably saying no. But we're probably going to need you to help go to war with these guys, too. Good hospitals. Sound like a good idea. Initiate the Huba program. Because uh, we get 20%. Initiate the Huba, too. That's fine. Go ahead. Aluminum. Do we need aluminum at all? Uh, no, we're actually, we have a ton of aluminum already. Well, demand the Vetus Restoration. The Prince Willem of V once ruled the Principality of Albania as an ally of the Central Powers. At the end of the Great War, however, he was unjustly disposed after many years. Uh, the deplorable uh, pretender uh, Avnet Zogu destroyed the Albanian throne. He must undo the mistake immediately. Good. Need some convoys at the very least. Can we get a sub or two? Oh. Well. So much for Poland being communist. Oh. And now they're fighting Latvia as well. Um. We've been criticized for weak foreign policy. Wow, what the heck, guys. Well, look at that. They signed a white piece? Perhaps we're Poland? Polish lands were once a time potential, Habsburg realm was once a time again. Expand lands controlled by the Habsburgs, which reached out to the Polish government and demanded to restore the kingdom by placing Karl Albrecht on the throne. Wait, so what happened here? Social partners. How did you survive? Did you die? Ugh. You literally have no divisions. Oh, the Albanian kingdom accepts the Albanian monarch. While well, his leadership in the Albanian kingdom has decided to crown Vilhelm of Vid in accordance with the demands, step down a place of the new king, new dawn will rise under the federation. Give me another choice. Kosovo is now core, the bar as well. Oh. Huh. Well, welcome aboard. I got this guy, Prince Wilhelm of Vid, Skanderberg. Very nice, I like that a lot. If I control all of your divisions, could we hang, hold out against these guys and these guys? Hello? Um, not sure if that would be the right idea to do that there. How's it pulling? Well, that'd be cool. They say no to us, huh? Open the Vespera Loza Movie Factory. Invest in the Magyar Urugyan Tar Ugaryar. I cannot speak Hungarian to save my life. Well, then that's it. They're allied, so no matter what, we go to war with both groups, and there's no way with that many they have that many divisions that we can fight them. I mean, we could try it. Would they like a non aggression pact? <laughs> Base of reluctance. Well, you know what? Let's improve relations. We'll see what happens. Let's get our army loyalty. You never know. Things could work out in the end for us. And there goes Latvia. Or they could go very poor for us. Fifty factories is pretty nice. Mm, killing each other, that's pretty normal. Uh, we're using pretty garbage updated stuff here, but we need more air XP as well. Forty stuff, eh? No, you might as well just get better planes then. Like the normies. Mm, field hospitals, I mean they'd be nice. Go ahead because we don't have enough for that. Combat. Artillery, eh? It gives you just an extra punch for now. There you go. Yeah, let's see what happens. Qing China and Shangxi. What is this? Open the Vesprom factory. I'm okay with that. Go ahead. 
build ourselves up more and more and more and more and more. Excavation. The Dawn of the Asian League. Neo Cha Gai Tai Cognate. Well, I could try this, I guess. The Czechoslovak Republic has its independence. Growing powerful and industrious, but their lands are greedily by their neighbors. We offer them our protection against these threats, either by welcoming them once again as an integral part of our empire or by granting them association status. War tension is high. Why do they make it higher? High opinion on aggression fact. Military is weaker. Royal Hussars. Well, I can make this first. Our people have long had a proud and long tradition of our using cavalry. Today will be no different. An elite force of cavalry must be created that can serve as a royal guard and ensure his majesty's safety. Ah, Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth has been born. That's fine. We'll deal with them two in time. Just trying to find a place in this world. Can we get some air people? Entrenchment? Ugh. Now we'll get this one. Make the Magyar Legerio known. The Magyar Legerio is an Air Force branch of the military. We are forbidden from owning military aircraft. However, a secret air arm was gradually established on the cover of civilian flying clubs. Now, with the trees in place, we can announce its existence to the world. That would be great. What are we missing besides planes, artillery, and support equipment? There you go. And there you go. But we have no air XP. Thirty percent world tension. Mexico's killing itself. What's America up to? Oh, off landed. Let's go figure. Um, we definitely want this one. I want to see if we can just... Oh, this one. That'd be so good to get more fuel. Protect the jacks. Uh, so we're going to save real quick. This might be a good idea. This might be a bad idea. You never know. So 70 day focus. And then what? So tap the newfound oil deposits. Many smaller wells, oil wells, have been discovered throughout our country. One example, by the Magyar Amerikai Olajapari Earth, also known as Mayart. One notable is uh, the Buda Fa Putsas oil discovery, which would be exploited uh, as quickly as we can. Oh, this would be pretty good. Hungarian autarky. We're far too dependent on oil, foreign sources of oil. We should emulate the German efforts in, in developing synthetic oil and strengthen our economy so that we can stand on our own two feet. And eventually, we want to expand the technical university of Budapest. We require more bright minds to come up with breakthrough discoveries that will aid us in the complex ahead. By expanding the capital's university, we can increase the pool of skilled engineers and scientists for a military industry. Oh, they got all the Balkans. Look at that. Brief relations. Heavy MGs. Uh, get some cannons. Nice good stuff. Oh, look at these guys. 18 combo. That's better. It's more like it. Are the big baddies in our in this campaign for us? Boom, boom, boom. Put small airframes now, so we gotta wait for that one. Then we might do it. Eh, drop tanks. Yeah, those are pretty good too. We're really focusing on a lot of plane stuff, which is nice. Offers protection. And we're going to save, and it's probably not going to go through, but, you know, we tried. And that's the most important thing. Bulgaria submits to Romania. Well, that's not good. Bohemia returns to the crown. Following the discussion at the highest level that ran late in the night, 
The Czechoslovakian government decided to accept her offer and proclaim Albrecht Franz, the King of Bohemia, Magureva of Moravia, and Duke of Cession. The soldiers of the former Czech army sworn an oath to the new king and emperor, and in the civil administration, the realms had been normally or nominally integrated. No step in the way to reclaim her birthright. Well, Schnackies. This will be kind of fun. Oh. Well, she does one earlier, triple monarchy. At the end of the Great War, and even prior to it, there were those who discussed abolishing the dual monarchy in favor of one of the three crowns. One of those being the crown of uh, Croatia, Slavonia. We should attempt to fulfill these promises now so that our empire doesn't collapse again in the future. Which would be really good. Oh. Republic of Croatia. Oh, we'll get him as a public anyways. Well, we want to claim Transylvania. At the end of the Great War, the Romanians occupied Transylvania, which has been ruled by us for centuries. It has not been very long since then, and our people remembered all too well. It's time to take these lands for ourselves. The other side is more likely to hand it over without bloodshed if you have a stronger army. However, you may still believe that they can stand up to us in their friendly faction. Well, I don't know. We're actually looking pretty decent right now, too. We actually go to war with these guys if we really wanted to, but they got a massive military. Uh huh. Do you improve working conditions? I'm okay with that. Military factory is very nice. Very, 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 very nice. Into war light tanks. Improved stuff. I'm going to wait for the other stuff there, too. That's fine. Anything here? Smoke and fire. Static warfare. Get more attack and level up. That's very strong. So since we're here, great agency, too. How many are we out? 15, 15, 1. That's not bad. That's actually quite good. I also want to focus on roads, too, eventually. Because it's a good kingdom. Always has plenty of roads. Cannons? You know what else we could use? We could maybe start making some ships. Um, let's make one sub. Having one sub is better than no sub. Got a lot of options here, which I do like. Ooh, that's not good. Need supply. Evidence Bureau. Could concentrate a little bit more for like that. Get her done, get her done, get her done. Improve computing machine, yeah, there you go. That's good. 41. There's only, there's only so much time to research things that we really need, you know. Mm. Yeah, a nuclear program is the one way we should go, definitely. Interesting. A trans in Galicia. Automatic territory. This side is more likely to stand over the bloodshed if you have a strong army. Trip monarchy. Reintegrate Slovenia. Or Slovakia. Do restore, the, restore the Duchy of Cession. I yeah, need this one next, because there'll be quite a few of these to do. Regional integration, that'd be nice. Restore the Kingdom of Lombardy of Venezia. The Kingdom of Lombardy of Venetia was a consi constituent land in our empire from 1815 to 1866. It was taken from us by the newly formed Kingdom of Italy in the Third Italian War of Independence. It's high time we return to the peninsula and attempt to restore Habsburg to the throne of these old crown lands. And reintegrate Slovakia. For centuries, Slovakia is an integral part of the Transitalian realm. With a despicable, deplorable Treaty of Trianon, these lands were stripped away from us. It's high time we incorporate our northern regions and add them back into the fold. Which would be great. Big chance for Transylvania. Rather than face the might of our armies, the cowardly Romanians have decided to return our ter rifle territories. The entirety of the controlled territories of Transylvania have been given control, have given over to our administration. Of course, it's taken full control, as it should be. Schnikes. Well, that just helped us out quite a bit, did it not? Oh, god dang. Establish a Skesley Academy of Sciences? I'm okay with that, too. Trip monarchy, so that'll be good. And then we'll integrate Slovakia. And maybe the trans Latanian Galicia, then we'll go to war with the, maybe the Polish. Back in the day, Galicia and Bukovina were ruled by Cis Latania. But seeing as we're now the sole dominant partner in the empire, uh, it would only make sense that we become one to safeguard and administer these territories. 
I mean, this one too, restore the Duchy of Session. The Silesian lands were ruled by Bohemia for a long time, and were later alongside incorporated into the Empire. After the War of the Austrian Succession, however, it was stolen from us by Prussia, a loss that we have not forgotten. We must pay them back and reclaim these lands for ourselves once again. I think we're in it there, though. We've done really well. We've actually did better than I thought we would. Um, of course, it helps that Germany doesn't really exist, and America doesn't exist. Not really. And most of the world doesn't exist as we know it, so. If you enjoyed the first episode, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we might end up going to war with Poland. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.